In this video, I want to show a digital simulation using the venerable 7400 series of devices. It is a true digital simulation, event-based, very fast, but it does not deliver exact voltages and currents during the simulation. But the ones and zeros of our digital approach. Yeah, I've already opened uh, the schema canvas of KiCad 8 and I'm going to select my device. And the device I'm interested in is the 74 LS74, which is a D flip flop. And it's a package with having dual flip-flops, so I post one here, enlarge a little bit with mouse scrolling and post the second one here. And I post the voltage supply here. Oh, indeed, we don't need that later. Yeah, so let's wire this thing a little bit, a ripple counter uh, that we have the output here of this one and we feed it back to the D input. We have the output here and put it here into the clock entry. We have the second inverted output. Feed it back to here. Okay, we use this as output and use this as input. And we may give uh, uh, labels, label in. Okay, let's turn this around. Put it here. And second label is label out. We put it here. Okay. Yeah, so. What else do we need? What we not require is the power supplies because it's a logic simulation, eh? not a current voltage simulation. Yeah, um, we'll need an input and we need to care for the output. What the input could indeed be an analog pulse sequence. So let's look for the pulse voltage source, which is V-pulse. I put it here. We need ground symbol. As always, we need some ground somewhere. And we put it here. We may connect this to the input and we need to care for the output. The output now is a digital signal. Unfortunately, eSchema currently cannot plot digital data, but it may plot analog data. So how to convert this out from digital to analog? Well, we just add a resistor to the output. I R and OK, put it here, have another ground. OK, connect it to the output. And we should give this resistor a value, whatever value, maybe large value, one mega ohm. OK, yeah. We need to check what is the input voltage. Here we have a pulse of zero and one volt, rise time two nanos, fall, uh, delay two nanoseconds, rise time two nano, fall time two nano, width 50 nano, period 100 nano. Um, okay, we would think about five volt. And to tell the digital devices that we will use 5 volt, 
we have to put the following onto the canvas. Open a text box, put into this text box dot param vcc equals to five. We put it just here and that's it for now. Okay, what is missing right now? Missing is the models for this device. We have to check where to find uh, the models. But before we do that, let's simply save this project somewhere. We save it as uh, maybe Kikat 800, at the place you'd like to. We have a new directory and we call it uh, Ripple. 7474 and we call this project you know, maybe we give it the same name ripple 7474 and save it okay now let's search for the device models the device models are for example available on our ng spice website we go to the ng spice index website we go to tutorials and here we have device model parameters for simulation with ng spice scroll down a little bit and this one here contains a few device models so let's check for this 7z file we may open this in the 7z uh, app and here we see the available models and well we have this model available here and let's figure out where our website is it was this one here and let's just put the model onto our project web page here we are okay we go back to the canvas and then we attach the model to the symbol. Double click onto the symbol, simulation model, model from file. Let's search for the file and the model we want to have is the 74HC 74M, M for a multi-part model. And click OK, click OK. And that's it so far so what will we have to do yeah okay you have seen we don't have the ls models we have the hc models so you might change this this is just a description um, and we call it hc okay so thus everybody knows what we are doing save it again and then we look at the simulator simulator and we want to do a transient simulation. We have seen the period of our uh, frequency here was 100 nanos. So it might be useful to simulate up to a thousand nanos. Search for the uh, appropriate simulation for a new tab. And we want to do a transient simulation. Time step, resolution, okay, one nano. Final time, 1000 nano seconds. And here, not forget to uncheck save all power dissipations and save all currents. Because we don't have currents and uh, device power in the pure digital simulation. This would lead to an error message if you leave this in here. So let's click OK. What want, do we want to see? We want to see the input and we want to see the output. And let's do the simulation. And here we are. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit difficult to see, but we see the red one is the in and the blue one is the output. And our ripple divider divides by four, two stages. Each stage divides by two. And so this seems to be good. We can improve a little bit on the plotting. And if we say, okay, we 
shift the output voltage a little bit. We can do this by going to simulation, choose user defined signal, we add such a signal and now we type in V out plus 6. We have 5 volt amplitude and we just add a value of 6 to the output. Say OK. And now we uncheck out, but we check V out plus 6. And here we are. And this looks nice. You have seen when I uh, put in the user defined signal, there was on and off and on and off. This is a little bug in a schema and hopefully it will be uh, solved in the near future. Yeah, that's it for now.